Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Brandenburg campaign for Europe Universe House 4. So, we are, uh, sieging out Scotland. We're also sieging out France and Spain at the same time. We've got everyone on the run. We are at a tenth of our manpower. We just lost the Empire. Not really, uh, that concerned about it, really. Maybe if I offered an alliance to the Palatinate, it's possible that we could get it back, but seems pretty unlikely. I think we just keep on eating the Empire. And just not worry about it. Sounds like more fun to me. Alright, that is our leader. He mm, doesn't have any siege value. I guess we'll uh, just get him to come over here and help out with the next siege. In fact, um, we need to try to prioritize the capital. Probably not. We're going to be at war with them for a little while while we beat up on Spain. Now, there was an interesting thread on the EU4 forums about how... Like, okay, so they made it so that colonial nations can break free now, which is pretty cool. Like, I mean, they could when when uh, Conquest of Paradise first came out, they could actually break free, but it would never happen because the uh, Liberty Desire never happened. Now, Liberty Desire does go up, but the problem is, and you've seen this, when they have like five colonies, the four colony, the other four colonies, defend Spain against the one that's rebelling. And even if Spain is like trashed, because the other colonial nations defend, they just go and siege it. And uh, four on one, it doesn't even matter if one is huge, they're still going to probably win. And it's the other colonial nations that are, like, forcing the country to stay part of the Empire, which is weird. Like, colonial nation, I think, I think, the way they should do it, colonial nations can't participate in colonial independence wars. Seems fair to me. I mean, I don't know. That, or if one rises up, they should call in others that have high liberty desire, or something. It should be a massive rebellion. When the colonial nations break free, it should be massive. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. So... Uh, we're going to feed about 100 or so war score to Burgundy. We're going to feed um, everything in Scotland to Tyrone. We're going to sit on Spain as long as it takes to get the provinces from France, which is actually really soon, come to think of it. Because we're going to we're gonna isolate France's capital, because Ile de France is amazing, and we want that. Um, so we'll take these two, and then probably bury. That would be 6, plus 8 is 14, plus 7 is 21. Um, why don't we give them, like, as close to 25 base tax as possible? Is there, is there anything that's 4 base tax? Highly, I mean, seems unlikely, actually. Oh, hey, Alvaren, perfect. So we can give them 24 base tax. That will be what we do with France. We'll probably have to take France almost to 100% to make that happen. Trading in copper has happened to us. Yay. Yay. Pretty rockin' music. Uh, Rebel Uprising, Gelrin Nationalists. Okay. French Ryland is uh, not happy with us for some reason. Oh, it's still uncored. Okay. We could raise autonomy, but I don't like doing that anymore. We have some more exhaustion. Let's buy that down. Seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to spend our, our uh, Diplo points on. And uh, we've already won a siege down here. Good. Uh, can they continue to keep these armies side by side? It's like Burgundy's doing the job now of chasing down Spain's army. And Novgorod is helping us siege out France. It'd be cool if you could tell them, like, you know, carpet siege mode versus hunter killer stack mode. Because the the AI very clearly has those modes. You can see when they're, like, in hunter killer mode. And I believe it was Wiz or somebody in the forums in uh, in the Crusader Kings 2 forums who mentioned it, and they call it Hunter Killer Stacks. Like, it's it's a big death stack that in, its entire purpose is to hunt down smaller armies and just kill them. And then they've got their siege stacks, which uh, these aren't siege stacks; they just can't form up. I'm in doing I'm doing this in, in, intentionally. I don't know if I mentioned that this line is to prevent the east and the west sides from actually forming up a reasonable army. Um, it's I don't know. It, it helps. I have a tendency not to mention everything I do anymore. Just silly. Uh, Tyrone is sieging this. Great. It's cool. Um, we also queued up a whole bunch of heavies, which are about to complete. And our navy is patrolling, so I think our heavies will be able to safely merge in. How many do we train up? I forget now. Just ten, probably? Yeah, I made ten more galleons to start. That's good. And we've taken Madrid, the capital of Spain. 
Nice. Kind of do the same thing here, split Spain down the middle. They are in full rec like recruitment mode right now, trying to recruit as much as they can. Our overextension is dangerously high. Uh, we need to start coring the next one as soon as possible. Uh, Thuringian nationalists. Damn, you guys are really causing some problems, are they? Are you actually going to move into Anjou? You are. Alright, well, why don't you stay in Barry then while we wait for these guys, and then we'll reinforce. I mean, I suppose I have to take care of that, don't I? Oh, man. Wow, we're actually, like, to the force limit. Let's build a Legio. Uh, 148 days, 145 days. Sounds good. You know what we need is we need to, like, build some more of the military structures that increase recruitment speed. Um, or, you know, just build conscription centers everywhere. Because they're awesome. The treasury, though, that would also be really nice. 20% regiment cost not only reduces the upfront cost, but also the maintenance cost. You can also build an admiralty and a university. Well... I think we need a university in the capital, and I think we need an admiralty in Holston, because we need the extra leader without upkeep. And what else are we going to spend money on? Should we go down there? Toledo. I cannot wait until we have offensive. Hey, that's cool. That is an event from having religious ideas. I like that. So yeah, I cannot wait until we have um, the Offensive Siege benefit from Offensive Ideas. Come on, France, stop this. The province of Champagne defected to France. Really? Wow, Burgundy, you didn't tell me that that was, like, really a problem there, buddy. That sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. Make a new decision. Establish Sunday schools. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Any other decisions down here? Privateers can therm something. Nah. Well, um, that really sucks. I'm not happy about that at all. And they actually managed to put together a force. Uh, we hired this thing up here. It's almost done. I if the same thing's going to happen to these guys. These guys aren't even, like, rebelling against us. The Ringian Nationalists. They came from... Burgundy. Ah, yeah. We Okay. We do have a problem there. Well, let's grab, like... Not the War Galleons. I actually kind of want a little bit of peace now. We'll, f we'll finish sieging these things, and then we're going to go and retreat our troops. Also, let's start coring something. Damn it. Are we, like, making no administrative points or something? No, no, no. Maintain that siege. I was kidding. That is a 10 stack that needs time to recover. It's definitely going for that 4 stack. No. These guys have formed up a bit too much, and Burgundy's not really doing much to stop it. Okay, we converted something. There's our Religious Unity mission. Reduce overextension. Claim something. Yep. That is what we're going to do. Because I want the military power so I can take more military ideas. Hey, some more recruitment time reduction. See if we can get these forty, this forty stack back, that would be good. Let's uh, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna move you guys to Friesland. Stop protecting trade for a little bit, get them over there, and we'll use them to take care of all these armies that have formed up again. Come on, make it in time, Burgundy or me, one of these guys, get there, get there, get there, get there. Thank you. Now leave it alone, France. Can't you just sit tight? Sit tight and wait. 
All right, we got a core done. Excellent. Now, some people in the previous comments have, have said that I was wrong and that they will core stuff even while they are um, being annexed, which I guess, I don't know. I, I checked a lot of the provinces and I didn't see any of the cores happening, so I don't know if that's really true or not. But some people seem to think that it is. It really wouldn't hurt to have a couple extra transports at this point. Okay, we have lost the Siege of Madrid. Wow, we took that back pretty quick. Alright, got a 13 stack here. I don't like that. Alright, I've got to go take this thing back. Wow. Holy crap, that's a lot of uh, Patriots. I'm going to build a few more transports. Right now we have only 8. I'd like to have like 20. We'll get 12 more going. And then we'll no longer have transportation issues for the next half year. I'm going to form up our hunter-killer stack and then go after some of this other stuff. I guess I'm going to have to negotiate probably with France, who we have currently, what? 25 war score with, which isn't even that much. Um, we'll just return. Did Burgundy lose like a lot more territory than just this one province? I feel like they had more, because we were looking to isolate the Ile de France. So when it said Champagne, the fact that it wasn't just Champagne, it was like a whole bunch of crap. Damn, one province made that happen? That really sucks. Because there's like all... What the hell is happening? I'm not trying to click on the flag. Return all this stuff is 115 peace offer. Yeah, it did. They even got Calais back. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We were supposed to grow Burgundy, not just return cores again. Ugh. That is stupid. <laughs> that just makes me mad. Alright, we're gonna knock out another military idea. Okay, this army's here. Let's go siege that thing back. Um, still have more men coming. Build the palace, gaining legitimacy that we don't need, or lose prestige. I think just ignore it. Cosmopolitan patriots have crossed our borders. Back up to Madrid with you, since that one's... Well, it is the capital of Spain. Just lost our royal marriage with them. Alright, so we're going to win that fight. And once I get the rest of my men back off the mainland, or off of uh, Scotland, Scotland. Scotland doesn't own anything else, right? I didn't miss anything. Oh no, they're colonizing. Damn. Since when does Scotland take colonial ideas? They took uh, Exploration Third. Huh. They don't they don't normally exist long enough to actually take a decision like that. It's been kind of a weird game. I'm gonna have to go take care of that. Um Something, something, Styria. Don't really care that much. Hey, okay, you. I'm gonna go join that guy, and now we need to transport these guys to Iceland. Styria has entered into a military alliance with Ansbach. 84% chance of taking that province, and it hasn't fallen yet. Hmm. I'm amazed that that many provinces. I guess, I guess because they didn't, inf that you know, they enforced demands, and their demands were all culture, all of those provinces to defect back to France. I guess that kind of does make sense, but ugh, I didn't get like an alert at all saying that it 
that that province was close to enforcing their demands because it's a vassal. Hmm. 91 percent wow this thing is like really bad at, at taking this look at the defensiveness too holy crap and madrid falls yet again quite quickly i don't think we're gonna make it there in time but they didn't stack wipe us or anything. Now I'll just turn around and engage France. Oh hey, the rebels are coming to us. That's good. In bad terrain with a 3-0 general. We will commit our 4-5 up there. Um... 28. Can't quite make it. Looks like we got to reinforce up here now. We'll go there. Mainz has entered a military coalition against us. Call for peace already? No. This is not at all going the way that I want. Do you, like, France, do you have um, Burgundian rebels that we can support? French Particularists. No. It's nothing that we can support to try to return the Burgundy Burgundy cores. I mean, Burgundy did core that stuff, obviously. Okay. Well, I think we've separate piece France. Um, ugh. It's just pathetic. War score cost. We'll go with... Uh, Champagne and then like what whatever else they'll give us really can't even get two I can barely even get one. What if we did like the two smallest? If we do that. That's forty war score worth. What if we upgraded to main. Okay, I guess we gotta just do these two. It's gonna be uh, in the ass getting this all back. But okay, France, go away. And Spain, since we do have war score with you, we might as well separate peace and get some more, some uh, war operations and money. And I know, wow, look at all these military things. Get rid of your alliance with somebody if we can. That seems fine. Okay, you can go away. Push us to 99% with Spain, with uh, Scotland. And then uh, we're just going to transfer occupation to Tyrone. And since they have overseas provinces, I think I'm going to have to... I don't think I can... You know, I clearly can't full annex. But I can take everything else. How much base tax is that? Well, we can we can tell pretty easily by the uh, overextension. Doesn't actually tell us what the overextension is going to be because it's not going to us. Okay, so 32, 44, and 52, 56. Not too bad overextension. They'll be fine. But at the same time, we will um, sure take war operations and money. All of a sudden, Tyrone is quite strong. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a break here. That is really disappointing, but we will have to take that land back in the next war then. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.